What did the Prophet وسلم, teach us in regards to how to react primarily to the fitna of the jah? In the Arabic, the jah said, li fi khuruj. I will be given permission to leave khuruj. Now this word khuruj is very interesting in the Arabic language and has to do with many of the ahadiths that relate to the end of times and is a proper language of the end of times. So I will come out and travel the earth. There will be no qariya. Now keep this in mind. There will be no qariya. There will be no qariya. There will be no qariya. There are three words in Arabic language that mean city. Balad, qariya, and Medina. Qariya is a city that is amongst some of its qualities. When you look at the word qariya in the Quran, one of its qualities is a town or a city that is disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Mecca is Umul Qura in the Quran, the mother of the cities. So it is narrated, فَأَسِيرَ الْأَرْضِ I will travel the earth, فَلَا أَدْعَى قَرِيَةٍ I will not leave any qariya. So he says there will be no qariya, no disobedient place except I will go there. A organized group of people running a city that is in disobedience to Allah except I will go there. Which will be the whole world as you will see. But this is what Dajjal says about what he plans to do. And there will be two qariyas, two qariyas, two organized places he will not be allowed to enter. One is Umul Qura, the mother of the cities. He will not be allowed to enter Mecca. And he will not be allowed to enter Medina. So Dajjal is not allowed to enter Mecca. He's not allowed to enter Medina. So meaning Me Mecca and Medina will be qariya will be cities at that time in disobedience to Allah. And this is confirmed in the sayings of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where the Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Medina will become like Yathrib and Mecca will be in shambles and in disobedience to Allah. Look at Mecca today, it's already in disobedience. So think about the future. So he is going to travel the earth, okay, in 40 nights. أَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَلَا أَدْعَى now this is the most important word. Ad'a, I will not stay. فَلَا أَدْعَى قَرْيَةٍ إِلَّا إِحْبِطُوهَا Okay. He said, so I will get out and travel the earth. And I will not spare any town where I would not stay. أَدْعَى قَرْيَةٍ إِلَّا أَحْبَتَ أَحْبَدْتُهَا Except I come down to it. So any place that is a city, that is inhabited by a group of people in which there are sins happening or some disobedience happening or just any city except I will come down to it. So now that we've clarified this, now let us clarify the next point. What did the Prophet tell us Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam what to do when you hear about the Dajjal? He says, قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ مَنْ سَمِيَ بِالدِّجَّالِ Whoever hears of Dajjal, meaning when you hear of his coming, right? فَلَّيْنَا عَنْهُ Then turn away from him, flee from him, go in the other way. So where will he come? He will come to every city. So the Prophet said, leave this city. مَنْ سَمِيَ بِالدِّجَّالِ فَلَّيْنَ عَنْهُ فَوَاللَّهِ إِنَّ رَجُلُ يَأْتِهِ وَهُوَ يَحْتَسِبْ أَنَّ هُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ So there will be one person, he will consider himself a mu'min and he will go to Dajjal. And the muhaddisin, they've said different things about this which I will share with you. But he will have shubbah, is what the scholars, they said. إِنَّ رَجَلًا يَأْتِهِ وَهُوَ يَحْسِبُ أَنَّهُ مُؤْمِنٌ فَيَتَّبِعْهُ مِمَّا and so he will come to him. He will begin to what? Follow him because of his doubts. So the Dajjal will be able to put doubts even in a person who thinks he's a mu'min. And what did the Prophet tell us? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Turn away from the Dajjal. Flee from him. 
Where will he go? He will go to the qariyas. He will go to every qariya on earth. The Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the people will flee from Dajjal such that they will go to the mountains. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called, لا يفر الناس من الدجال حتى يلحقوا بالجبال. The people will flee from the Jal, and where will they go? They will go to the mountains. And at that time, Um Sharik, she when she heard this, she said an interesting question: Ya Rasulullah, فأين العرب يوم إذن? Where will the Arabs be? Where will the believers be? Where will the Arabs be? Hum qalil. The Prophet, there will be very few of them because already before the Jal comes, there would have been before he comes a great war in which up to two thirds of humanity will be lost. And so, when two thirds of the humanity is lost, whatever is reserved or whatever is protected of that progenies of Islam, then they are the ones that are going to carry the torch on, and. Where will they go? They will go to the mountains. And the Prophet told us this in many narrations of his. People will do this on their own or they will do this in groups. It's better to do it in groups and it's better to be organized so that when that great war comes, you're already out of the city. Because as the Prophet said, وسلم, there will be very few Arabs, very few people left after these great wars. And if you're in the cities, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to be in deep trouble. I don't have time to go into those narrations today, but I have done so in my previous videos. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Dajjal A'war. Dajjal is A'war. He has one eye. Aynun Yusar. He is blind from the left eye. Wa Jufa'u Sha'ar. And he has a lot of hair. Ma'ahu Jannah wa Nar. And he'll have heaven and hell. So you'll go to these cities that are in shambles, that are in desperation, and he'll fix them up and bring back technology. After the war, he'll bring back the Jannah. And the Prophet told us, don't take that Jannah, go to the fire. Go to the fire, meaning go to the mountains. That's the difficult. Go to the opposite of where he's going. He's going to make Jannah on earth. In the, these cities, every city he's going to go to. He's, and there, there are other narrations that talk about this. But today, my only point I want to emphasize and make clear is that the Prophet told us, when Dajjal comes, you better be going the opposite direction. Which is not the cities, because that's where he's coming. He's coming to every ma major city. He's coming to your city. Oh Muslims, he's coming to your city. Dajjal coming to your city. Don't let that happen while your eyes are wide open. My point here is that you have to be prepared to leave dunya in dunya and make preparations to leave the cities. And what is the universal of this in the Quran? The universal of this in the Quran is the idea of hijrah. When you're in a place and you're being oppressed, like the Muslims were being oppressed in Mecca, you make hijrah. When Musa والسلام, he had his people, they were being oppressed. What did they do? They made hijrah. When your iman is being oppressed, you have to make hijrah. What did the Ashab al Kahf do? They made hijrah. So you will have to make hijrah. When the Jal comes, he's going to test your iman in the city by making the cities beautiful and full of what it used to be. Because before he comes, it'll be desolate places. Okay? And then after he comes, he'll make it great. And people that reject him, right, they'll have nothing, right? And he's going to give you heaven and hell. And he'll tell you either you're with me or you go out and you can't have the treasures that I have. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in mentioning this in the surah before Surah Al-Kahf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says very clearly, إِم مِّن قَرِيَةٍ إِلَّا نَحْنُ مُحْلِكُوهَا there will be no qariya, again qariya, and there will be no qariya, which is where the Dajjal will go to every qariya, illa, nah, illa nahnu muhlikuha. He will go to those, except we will destroy it. Qabla yawm al qiyamah, except we will destroy it before the Day of Judgment. So be, and events will occur before the Day of Judgment, 
where all the big cities and all the cities will be destroyed or we will punish it with a great punishment that makes me shiver and that is already written in a book it's going to happen your city my city is going to be in deep trouble unless we find a way out yeah.